Hey there, welcome back. So a few weeks ago, I made a video about using Markdown within TickTick. So, you know, within the TickTick task description, or if you have a note and you're taking notes within TickTick, you can use the Markdown language to help format text. Well, one of the things I got stuck on was the ability to have a multi-line block of code. So I was showing that you can have a single line block of code and was describing in the video um, that I didn't like that and I, I knew I was missing something. And so I was asking if anybody knew how to make a multi-line block of code to go ahead and put it in the comments. And sure enough, my viewers came through or at least one of them did. So we're going to uh, take a look at the comment that they left on that video and then also kind of explore within TickTick uh, using TickTick Notes as a way to take notes for programming languages or coding. All right, so let me start by pulling up my YouTube channel here. So if I scroll down, uh, here was the video. It's called Format Text in TickTick Using Markdown. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and let me just pause this video here. And if I scroll down, I actually pinned this comment because it was exactly what I was asking for. So let's see, I can never get these usernames right, but let me give it a try. So it's Dev UT Karsh Codes. Maybe it's Dev Utah Karsh Codes, not sure. Uh, but in any case, here was the explanation. It says, to write a multi-line code, you have to use three back ticks instead of one. So for example, three back ticks, some lines of code here, and then three more back ticks. And then they mention that there's one more thing that you can do. So here they put the three back ticks, then they put Python, which is a programming language, and then they put some lines of code, and then three more back ticks. And they say you can also mention the name of the programming language that you are writing code of. So all that sounds pretty cool, and for some reason, I just wasn't able to figure that out before I made the last video on Markdown. But let's check it out today. So let me bring over TickTick. All right, and let me start by just creating a new task. So I'm going to call it Code Notes. And just for fun, I'm going to right-click and say Convert to Note, because this is going to be some notes. All right, so let's say that I've got some HTML. Uh, you know, I'm making a website and I just want to take some notes of some HTML that I got. They mentioned the first thing to do is to put three back ticks. And again, the back tick is the same key as the tilde on my keyboard. Uh, so up in the upper left corner of the keyboard, three back ticks. And one thing I discovered as I was testing this was it's easier to go ahead and hit enter here and enter again and then three more back ticks. And then that goes ahead and creates your block of code that you can see. So otherwise, if you don't create that second series of back ticks, um, you don't get that block of code. So you can start typing your code, obviously, but it's not gonna, it's not gonna look like code. It's not gonna look like a code block. So again, put the three back ticks after it and now you've got your block of code. And so that's exactly what that comment said. And in this case, I'm doing HTML. I'm just going to copy some HTML over here from my other screen and paste it in here. So I'm going to delete that, right click and paste. All right, so here's my multi-line block of code. And in this case, it's HTML. Uh, but, you know, you can write other notes around it, so maybe I'll give this a heading. And if you remember, like heading one is one hashtag. So I can say these are my HTML notes. Uh, and you know, you can take notes around that block of code as well. So that's pretty cool. And this would be very useful if say you're a developer and you, you like to use TickTick for taking notes, um, you're definitely gonna wanna use this feature. All right, so let's do a few other things. I'm going to come down here and make another heading. And these are gonna be my CSS notes. So I'm gonna just put my three back ticks. And this time I'm going to put the programming language, which is CSS. I'm gonna hit enter a couple times and then my three more back ticks. 
And now I've got my block of CSS. And we'll see if TickTick -tick is able to kind of highlight the code based on that CSS programming language. So again, I'm going to copy some CSS from over on my other screen and paste it in here. And so you can see that based on that programming language of CSS, TickTick, -tick, by way of Markdown, is highlighting certain things about the code. So it's highlighting like the background color, um, the hex code, uh, hashtag FFFFFF, which stands for white, um, is highlighted in pink. Same with the color, this is black, highlighted in pink. Font family is Arial, which is blue. Color down here is written out in words, and so that's orange. So just kind of some different things based on the language. All right, so let's just do one more. Let's do kind of a more programming language. You know, HTML and CSS, kind of basic stuff. But let's look at, let's say, Python. So I'm going to come down here, put my heading, three back ticks, and Python, three more back ticks. And I will copy and paste some Python. So that looks pretty cool. And I think you can really get a feel now for how TickTick -tick will, again, by way of Markdown, uh, highlight certain parts of the code based on the programming language. All right, so that got me thinking, what all languages can we put in here? Uh, and it turns out I was not able to find an official list that TickTick -tick publishes. And I wasn't even able to find an official list from Markdown that was published to say these are the languages that are supported. The best I could find, let me pull over from the other screen here, is so this is from a website called developerhub.io. Uh, and this, this site is related to Markdown code blocks. And this is a list of supported languages it mentions. But again, I don't know if this list is the same list that would be supported by TickTick. -tick. Uh, you know, this is just kind of some random list I found on, on the internet, um, just kind of looking for what languages are supported. But chances are, if the programming language is on this list, it will likely work in TickTick. -tick. So give it a try and see if it works. And I'll put a link to this website in the, uh, in the description. All right, so before I end this video, I just want to circle back to uh, one thing that I covered in my last Markdown video, and I'm going to go ahead and make this full screen here so we can kind of get a better view. So just scrolling up through the notes that we've taken so far, you know, if there's ever a time that you just want to take, uh, you know, an inline note on a piece of code. So let me add some more notes down here. I'm going to say thinking about using the... And here I'm just going to use a single back tick because this is going to be an inline block of code. Uh, this is what I was describing in the last video. So a single tick mark. So thinking about using the div single tick mark tag. So in this case, you know, where you want to just have the code in line with the rest of your sentence or the rest of your notes and not a big block, you will use a, a single back tick. So there's a single back tick on either side of this little block of code. So I just wanted to mention that also, that you don't always have to have a big block of code. You can also have an inline block of code just by using a single tick mark. Well, that's all for this video. I uh, hope it was useful. I hope you got something out of it. I know that I'm always learning. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I do this YouTube channel is because, you know, I certainly don't know everything and it's kind of fun figuring it out and also getting help from uh, my viewers when uh, you guys are able to point me in the right direction. So again, thanks to Dev UT Karsh Codes <laughs> for leaving that comment on that previous video. That way, you know, I can kind of um, figure that part out and make another video on it. And so appreciate it. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good one.